we all pretty much know the story of Joseph who was sold by his brothers into slavery in Egypt. We know, those of us who are Christian, we know that he ended up in the house of Potiphar. We know what Potiphar's wife did. We know how wrong that was. But the thing is, Joseph was, and this is the part I think we miss, Joseph was favored in the house. He was so favored in the house because God's hand was upon him, God's blessing was upon him, and God was blessing not just him and everything he did, but he blessed those around him because of him. Potiphar was blessed in the house and in the field, we're told, inside and outside. So when his wife did what she did, it wasn't so much her, but God's hand was in that matter because Joseph had to be moved out of that blessed position. A lot of times, and I mention that because things happen in our life and we might feel so wronged by something, but you got to understand God has something greater in store for you. So don't waste so much time. Don't waste any time worrying about who did what, how it happened, how wrong it was. Don't waste time being in your feelings, but get excited for what is yet to come. Again, remember, Joseph was blessed. He was so blessed working for Potiphar that the scripture says that Potiphar didn't even know what he had in the house. The only thing that Potiphar knew of was the fact that he was, whatever he was eating, that's what he knew of. Let me tell you, Potiphar was so blessed. Whatever work Potiphar had to do before Joseph got there, Potiphar was on a vacation. Who got hurt? For real, for real? Who got hurt behind what Potiphar's wife did was Potiphar and his wife. Because when Joseph left, so did all that favor. <laughs> I mean, think about it. And yet, and yet, Joseph had to be moved out of that position so that he could be in a position to be elevated even higher. Let me tell you, when everything was said and done, Potiphar became the servant to Joseph. Like, if you really take pay attention to what happened, Potiphar became servant to Joseph because Joseph became second in command to all of Egypt. So, yeah, I just want to remind you what it really means to be walking with the Lord and, and to have the Lord with you. Like, for real, for real. You are identified as being successful. Everything you attempt to do will be successful. Those around you will be blessed inside and outside. Um, God will extend kindness to you. And this one here is my favorite. The heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. So he will cause people to be favorable towards you. Everywhere Joseph went, he found favor. Even when he ended up for a little while in that jail, he found favor because God was with him. So don't focus on who's doing what. Focus on the fact that God is favoring you. And when you have to change positions, when things um, call or, or things happen so that you're ripped out of one position, get excited for what's next to come because God is positioning you. Don't nobody have control over you like that. Ain't that what Jesus said to um, Pontius Pilate? He said, you can't do nothing to me that God has not allowed. Y'all better remember that <laughs> and be blessed. All right, bye.